ladies out there struggling with rosacea, I got you. This is basically like my whole foundation makeup routine. It's good to embrace some insecurities, but I get it. I get it. So I'm just going to walk you through my foundation routine and how I get my skin to look like this. When I struggle with rosacea. So let me just get right into it. So I finally started Curology and it's not even like obviously it's not sponsored or whatever. I'm about like a week in and I haven't seen a huge difference, but they said it takes up to six weeks, so we got some time. When I was filling out the little skin quiz, I mentioned that I never wear sunscreen. You what? And the lady was not happy. She was like, girl, you need to be wearing sunscreen. So I got some of this drunken elephant stuff. It actually has a little bit of a tint to it. So it gives you some color. Um, the smell is not great. It smells like sunscreen as expected. Maybe I'm just not used to it because I'm used to not taking care of my skin and wearing sunscreen. But yeah, she told me she was like, how do you expect your skin to get any better if you're not going to protect it? I was like, you're right. So I mentioned this before, but I have pretty bad rosacea on my cheeks um, and it kind of, it just flares up whenever. So these, I like using these foundations, either anything from Milani or this L'Oreal infallible one. If you're really looking to cover up rosacea, go with Milani because it has like a nice olive undertone to a lot of them. So it masks the redness. I usually mix foundations because my skin tone changes every dang day. Especially like living in Arizona, I'm tan one day and I'm ghostly pale the next. It just depends on how much I am outside. I don't wear primer anymore really because usually I just forget. But also because all my stuff just ends up sweating off anyways and I'm like... All right, I've got like a little cocktail in the back of my hand. So I'm just going to do a couple dots. And the reason I like this stuff to cover up redness is because it is pretty full coverage. So if you're looking for something light, this is not it. But it'll do the job if you're insecure about inflammation or rosy cheeks, just use this. There's this whole new like blush trend, which I love, super cute, but like I have never been a blush girl because it naturally kind of happens, so. But I would say if you have like rosacea that you're really trying to cover up, go in with a green concealer wherever you have it, if it's around your nose, on your cheeks, wherever, and use the green concealer first and cover it up. I just, ugh. Concealer as is feels gross on my face, so I'm like not trying to rub that all over my cheeks. <laughs> And then whatever is left on the back of my hand, I just take the lightest concealer. I take the lightest concealer that I have, mix that in, and that is my concealer. All right, and then I put a little bit under my eyebrows just to conceal that. It's been so hot in Arizona recently. You go outside, upper lip sweat immediately. That is the one thing I wish I did not have upper lip sweat I have to tell my friends I'm like you guys gotta clock me when I have it because then I can give it a little you know if they don't I know when people can see it on my face because they keep they give me this so I do have some blemishes on the bottom so I'm just gonna give them like a little tap I don't like to put too much concealer over my blemishes because I feel like it makes them almost more noticeable because there's more product in that area so people are like Okay, now I'm going to take this translucent powder. I'm going to give you guys a tip. Don't buy this. It's not bad, but it's just such a pain in the ass to get the powder out of here because it looks like this. Okay? So every time I have to, like, tap it into this cap and it just makes a mess. And honestly, I sweat this stuff off so quick. If you're looking for a good powder, the CoverGirl... I'll insert a picture. I can't remember what it's called. There's one from CoverGirl that's really good and it doesn't have flashback. Cause that is my main thing with powders is like, honestly I could care less what it does, but if it has flashback, whoo! So yeah, I mean this isn't bad, but I would not recommend it. It's just a hassle, it makes a mess every time. And it honestly, I sweat right through this stuff. But maybe it's just me. Maybe it's the, the oily skin. Okay. Then when I put it on my eyes, I don't like that crusty under eye look. So I immediately wipe it off. I 
quick side note in other news the semester is over thank god thank god that was a tough semester i barely passed korean i passed it with a 71 and you have to pass foreign language classes with a 70. i did it that was like one of the best moments of the semester was getting that final grade and seeing that i passed Honestly, if I didn't, that would have been really bad because my GPA would have tanked, I could have lost my scholarship, and then how the hell am I going to pay? I'm going to wipe everything off my eyebrows, and this is where it gets fun. This is where it gets fun, I promise. So I filled my eyebrows in, and now I'm just going to take some hairspray. You don't need eyebrow gel, you just need this. I'm going to spray this little brush, and I'm going to spray that. And then work quickly because it will dry. This one brushed. This one not brushed, but we're gonna give it a little little zhuzhin. See, it just kinda I don't know. It does something. I don't know what it does, but I like it. Okay. And see like you see how there's like some sparse areas? I kind of like that. So we're gonna leave it. I use bronzer for eyeshadow. I really just don't like having a million things to bring in like my makeup bag. So I use one product for everything. This is my bronzer, eyeshadow. I just, to fill in my eyebrows, I use another eyeshadow and I just get it wet. Um, I really feel like you do not need all these like fancy new makeup things. And maybe it's just me, but like, I was really into all the palettes and stuff growing up, especially in high school, like all the Jaclyn Hill palettes, which by the way, I'm still a Jaclyn Hill stan. Even during her whole lipstick scandal, I was still, I was still rooting for her. Like, I don't know. I think people just love to hate. Do you, did she, do you think she wanted her lipsticks to fail? No. Who would want that? So let her live. Back in like high school I remember I loved I loved all of the like new makeup palettes and everything and now I'm just like eh. everything's the same so there's nothing special here I just put a little under my eye all over the lid you know blend it out as you do that same bronzer that I took on my eyelids we're now gonna use it as an actual bronzer step-by-step -step guide curl your lashes sit here for about five minutes I usually like sit on my phone watch a video whatever after five minutes take them out put some of this mascara on it's the L'Oreal telescopic mascara People always ask me they're like girly what mascara are you using this stuff it's so good get the waterproof stuff too because if you're in a hot sweaty climate you're gonna want this step three you're gonna go in again and curl them and then step four you're gonna give them another coat if you have fragile eyelashes, be careful. This is my warning right now. Be careful. I've been using and abusing these boys for years now, so they're used to it. But if you have fragile, brittle eyelashes, do not do this, okay? And don't come for me if your eyelashes fall out. These boys have been through it, so they, they're used to it. any of my girlfriends whenever we go out and I'm in the middle of doing my lashes they're always like oh my god <sighs> it's time for the lashes like they know whenever I'm doing my lashes it's gonna be a while but they get it they understand it I <laughs> my voice just dropped like three octaves I speaking of which I started going back to the gym and today I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do arms. Let's try arms. I got to the one machine where you just like, I don't really know how to explain it, but you just go like this and you lift things. And it was at 25 and I was like, oh my God, I got that, like easy. I'm pulling the thing down, I'm like, 
am I really this weak? It was not budging. Um, so I put it all the way up to 10, which is the lowest weight that you can lift. And I, my arms were buckling. They were like, oh my God, you can't do this. So needless to say, it's good that I'm going back, but I have a lot of work. Um, I could barely lift up 10 pounds. We're gonna wipe the rest of the powder off. I'm gonna take my finger, this old ass ancient Anastasia glow kit. I got this when I was like a freshman in high school and it's still, those are still going strong. Obviously I can't really use those because I'm white. I'm just gonna take my fingies, a little bit of this, put it on my cupid's bow, on my nose, right there. Then I'm also going to take this other ancient palette by Juvia's Place. And there's this color in here, that one. I'll go my inner corner. And then, if you want your eyes to pop a little more, take a little bit of white eyeliner. Can you see a difference? I don't know if you can. And I keep looking in the viewfinder. Stop looking there. Look here. You narcissistic little... are done. My final step is literally always just this gloss. Okay, this is the final look. That is the final look. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending some time with me and I'll see you soon.